Hey guys, I thought you might want to see what I'm doing in the house um, for my solar project and soon to be wind turbine project. This is my 200 amp breaker um, box here. I got grid coming in feeding these circuits. And what I have is the circuits that you see turned off. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark. But all the circuits that are turned off here go, what I did is I pulled the wire out of the breaker and I ran it down through the wall to another box. And here's the box. Um, so those circuits are basically now running through this circuit breaker. And what I've done is I run my inverter pro um, power from my shop through, you know, the earth underground whatever into the house and I'm back feeding through the 60 amp circuit and what you're seeing here is a break before a make switch so I can switch between um, green and grid and what I did is I ran the power through a 220 volt or a, yeah 220 um, volt circuit down and I'm back feeding it into this circuit here um, so if I want to switch to grid power what I do is I break the green make the grid and now I'm on line with um, with grid power go back to green power I break grid and go with green there and you can see with that little toggle I can't have both on at once um, and then whatever power I have selected feeds these breakers which then feed the house um, just an idea uh, that seems to be working um, I think it's safe um, everything's wired up you know and conduit between these two um, boxes it's I mean it doesn't look the greatest but um, I think it's very safe it's it's working I'm not having any problems um, you know, I don't know what implications I'd have if I wanted to sell the house. Um, but I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But I uh, thought you might want to see how I'm doing it. Um, might encourage you to do the same. And then because the insulation here in this wall isn't so hot, <clears throat> what I did is I cut a piece of see if I can get this on camera here cut a piece of foam board and what I do is I put this foam board over the panel which probably is up, up to code obviously because I think the deal is is you gotta be able to get to your panels so that foam board basically presses into the wall cavity there um, there's no room because of the size of my studs to put insulation behind the panel box and the uh, and the wall so um, you know it's basically drywall that's insulating not even drywall I guess it's um sheeting and and uh, you know the siding of the house that's acting as insulation so I figured this is our 10 um, paneling foam board whatever and I'm thinking that's gonna help me out quite a bit thanks for watching